It's NAB week, and I want to use Camera to Cloud on my red Komodo to capture all the action. But I'm still on the regular firmware, 1.6.5, but a new version has dropped, 1.7.3, that fixes a lot of the bugs in 1.7.0 and still gets you that Camera to Cloud connectivity. So let's upgrade the red Komodo to 1.7.3 here on the Las Vegas Strip. First thing we gotta do is download the firmware. So let's open up a new tab, red.com slash downloads. From there, we're gonna go to the Komodo, then choose Komodo firmware beta 1.7.3. You'll have to log into your red account in order to download this. Now I've already downloaded it, so let's go to the next step. Let me go ahead and drag this out of my downloads onto my desktop. Then unzip the file. Then you'll have the Komodo 1.7.3.beta firmware. You'll see an upgrade folder. Now let's get our CFast card, preferably a red approved one, and slot it into our CFast reader. There you'll see it opened up. Now just drag the upgrade folder over into that CFast card. Eject. We're done with the computer. So you can see my Komodo is on 1.6.5, and since it has more than 100 hours, you can tell that I have no intention of selling it. Let's open up the side access door and slot this CFast card in. Next, I'll go to the main menu, maintenance, and upgrade. Current version 1.6, upgrade version 1.73 beta. That's the one I want. Let's hit the upgrade. Now, while I'm doing the upgrade, I try not to have any unnecessary GAC on the camera. And I also try to plug into DC power when available. This will take some time, so I'll just come back once it's done. Here we go. So let's check. There it is. Firmware 1.7. Dot three beta. So we got it. Now we should have the clamor to clamra, the clamra. Now we should have camera to cloud functionality on this one. Because I have it on the black Komodo, because the black Komodo is running 17.0. Now let's see if we can get it rocking and rolling on this camera. Now it's searching for yeah, my home Wi-Fi. Let's go menu then communication, connections, Wi-Fi, and change which network I'm connecting to. Let's go networks. And we should hopefully see my phone as a network. And we don't. So we'll just say other, and then we'll just say A, And now we're connected to the personal hotspot off of my AT&T cell phone. So let's back out of this menu and go over to cloud. Let's go take upload. a look and see if our Komodo is Next, done upgrading. we'll enable frame IO. Now I need to connect it to camera to cloud. So let's do that part next. Now I'm in frame IO creating a new project and I am enabling camera to cloud connections. Let's create this project and go to C2C Connections. Now I need to add a new device. And device ready to connect, ooh, not yet. So let's go down here. No, I need focus over there. And start the connection process. 156761. All right, let's move our focus back over here. And type in 156. Seven, six, one. We're gonna authorize Komodo Stormtrooper 234 to contribute through me to this project. And then on the device, it should connect. Boom. 
Now through me, in, straight into the project, that Komodo will contribute media. I'm not gonna set a device expiration because I've found that can actually trip me up breaking the connection when I should think everything should be working just fine. So let's go ahead and finish out of that and let's shoot our first clip to my camera to cloud project. All right, so I just ripped off a super quick clip and now it's uploading straight to camera to cloud. Now, because my upload speed is so incredibly bad, it's taking a little while to send this clip up to the cloud, about five minutes. But with a proper bonded cellular modem or at least enterprise uh, connectivity, you'll get about 150 to 200 megabits off of just the little stubby antenna, which is well more than enough than for 2K ProRes, uh, but you're definitely gonna want a wired connection if you are uploading .R3D files. So now that this is rocking and rolling, I'm gonna go ahead and use this for the next few days for the show and see what I think about it. Take care and uh, yeah, buy Welch's Fruits next. Or Storm Cables. Storm Cables are a good purchase too. Bye!